The online courses that you will undertake have a wealth of information. It is also very carefully structured. So for each uh, creative task that you're asked to do, you'll have some supporting information and some movies that you can watch. And your lecturer can guide you through that every step of the way. When you're talking to your tutor, you'll be able to um, ask questions uh, on the forums or even be able to uh, communicate via email offline. Now, um, one of the great things about um, online education is um, it doesn't matter what uh, time of the day that you think of your question, so long as you uh, communicate with your lecturer, you are going to get that feedback within a 48 hour period. When studying online, it's a good idea to set a couple of hours aside. Now, they don't have to be a specific couple of hours, but um, you'll need a couple of hours to be logged in online, to be reading content or watching movies, and also uploading your own personal information uh, so that your lecturers can assess that. You also need to go out occasionally each week with your camera to create images which we're then going to post-process. So two or three hours per week uh, should be enough. These online courses have been structured as either an eight or 12 week online course, but do not see that as a rigid time frame. If you're perhaps um, going away overseas and you want to push on ahead, uh, the course has that flexibility that you can fast track the course content and you will still get the feedback from your online lecturer. For photography, obviously you're going to need um, a recent model camera. Now that could be a DSLR or mirrorless or even perhaps one of these little compact cameras that shoot in the raw file format. Now uh, obviously we're also going to be using Photoshop and, and or Lightroom. Now these can be accessed as uh, Photoshop CS6, um, Lightroom 6, or you can be a subscriber to the, um, um, the photography package, which includes both uh, Lightroom and Photoshop, which uh, Adobe call their Creative Cloud Photography Plan. Now, obviously with uh, online education, you can log in anywhere. You could log in a hotel room um, from your home. You could be even overseas. Now, the only thing that uh, might make things slightly uncomfortable if your uh, internet connection is very, very slow. We certainly don't recommend dial-up, but if you've got ADSL or faster, you should be fine. Now you're going to be uploading uh, images or catalogues of images uh, to your lecturer and they're going to give you personal feedback on those skills that you've uh, applied to your own work. Okay, so if you've decided that you want to take um, an online course, a uh, question we often get asked is uh, which one should I take first, Lightroom or Photoshop? Now, if you're already an experienced Lightroom user, you've probably asked the question for yourself. Okay, you're probably wanting to push beyond what Lightroom is capable of doing and moving into the advanced post-production editing that Photoshop can offer. But my recommendation is if you consider that you're a newbie, perhaps at both, I would study the Lightroom course first because this is a great um, way of helping you organize your images and optimize your images before we move on to that next step.